Hey guys, it's Lori McNeil. I'm going to talk to you guys about our career speech. I have always wanted to be an entrepreneur and I would like to work in real estate, own my own houses, Airbnbs, something like that. So what I'm going to talk to you is why I chose this job, what interests me about this job, what the requirements are for this job, and what the potential pay is for this job. So number one, the real thing that gets me is, do I have the potential to work for somebody else? Can I work with a boss? Can I handle that? And right off the bat, I can tell you no. I'm, I'm not that person. I have a strong type A personality and my potential and my aspects want to go a lot farther. So why I chose this is that number one thing right there. I've always loved sales. I love to do um, sell or anything to anything, anybody. And that's like my dad has always said, I could sell ice cream to an Eskimo. Uh, me and my husband sold a house last year over here in Cove, Oregon, and we made a pretty good profit off of it. So that kind of spiced things up and got it going for us. The other thing that really interests me is that you gotta be hands-on with people. And I love helping people. I love helping them get into a home and making it for themselves and their family and having that warmth and that comfort really help them out in getting there and helping them see the potential of, yeah, maybe it's a rundown check, maybe it's not for you, but if you look past that, you could have the potential of doing this or doing that with different houses and real estate or even opening a small business. So that is a huge thing that really interests me is helping the people there. The thing, the drawback with that though, is you can always run into people who are disrespectful, not nice, rude, um, they can trash your rentals if you have any rentals, and they can also talk shit about you, which is not great, but you gotta have some thick skin in the sales world, everybody knows that. Obviously, as part of this job goes, it's nice to probably have a real estate license. Um, that's usually required when you're selling a house, unless you do like a for sale by owner type of thing. This kid communication skills is a thing that would really help you out as well because that way you can read people a lot better and you can know how to communicate information to them more clearly and that way they can understand when buying a house or doing anything like that because that can be a really huge thing in someone's life. Um, the potential pay it for this job is off the charts sometimes and it really just depends on the profit that you make and how much time and effort you put into it if you put a lot of hard work into advertising the house if you put a lot of hard work into rebuilding the house if you put a lot of hard work into how many applications you take on rentals and stuff the profit could be huge or the profit could be really small it just depends on the hard work that you put into it so this job is basically you could find anywhere within the U.S. It just depends on what your market is. As people know, Oregon doesn't have the best market because technically we're overpopulated for how many houses we have. And that's why it's kind of a good thing to be friends with contractors and get the deals going with that. Um, I've always wanted to work for myself. And as my dad says, I just kind of am go, 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 go. But I like to go different avenues at all different times. I don't like to just do the same thing over and over and over again. So one of my huge things as far as what I want to do is the potential profit of buying the Cove pool. I would have to start up with a business plan, of course, because that's a smart thing to do. And a typical first thing I would do is to give it a major overall a facelift, make it look really nice and pretty. Get some employees, start some advertising, help the community, get some RV sites, party, party, party. So what I really talked about is why I've chosen this business job, why it interests me, what the requirements are, potential pay, and what I foresee in the future. So thanks for listening to me, guys. Have a good day.